I'm Carrie Knott with the University of Kentucky. I'm the Grain Crops Extinction Agronomist. Today I'm going to talk about how to assess winter wheat freeze damage to a small developing head. In Kentucky we don't often have freeze damage to our winter wheat crop. However, in the years that we do, such as this year, it's important to be able to assess that developing wheat head so that we can make management decisions as to whether we should keep this crop or whether we should terminate it and put in some other grain crops so that we can be as profitable as possible. The first step is digging the wheat plants. We'll go ahead and knock that soil off right now as much as we can. That way we're not bringing this back to the lab or the truck and getting everything messy. But once you have individual plants from several different places in your field, especially those low spots that are much more susceptible to freeze damage, we'll bring these back to the shop or the truck and we'll dissect these down and look at that developing wheat head. Now that the plants are in your shop or office, we need to divide them into individual stems so that we can begin the dissection process. There are several ways to dissect out the developing wheat head. I will demonstrate two. I like these large razor blades available at just about any store. The trick is that the blade you use needs to be very sharp, which rules out many of our pocket knives. The first dissection technique I will demonstrate removes all the outer leaves and provides us with the intact heads. The first step is to remove the outer leaves from the stem. Typically, I remove three. And quite often, that last leaf can be very tricky to remove and requires quite a bit of patience because at this point, the stem is very fragile and can break easily. Now we are able to clearly see all of our nodes or joints of the stem. In this case, we have two. One and two nodes. I typically cut about an inch above that highest node. And next, I cut the stem in half about a half an inch above that node and begin pulling the leaves off until I find that developing wheat head. On the right is a healthy wheat head. Healthy wheat heads are greenish yellow in color, firm to the touch, and somewhat glossy and translucent. They are also a bit triangular in shape with very distincted serrated edges. On the left are two freeze damage heads. Freeze damage heads can be whiter, milkier, and lose that serrated edge. These freeze damage heads were dissected from stems that were at the FIC 7 growth stage which has two detectable nodes. As more time passes between the freeze event and the date we inspect the heads for damage, the damaged heads will continue to decline. Here, the damaged head on the left is much thinner compared to the healthy head on the right. The second method of head dissection is to just to simply split the stem in half. With this method, you have, to, you have the risk of cutting the head in half, but it is a bit simpler than the previous method. Once the stem is cut, you must find the head above the highest node. As with the previous method, once you find that head, you can now inspect the heads for freeze damage. I hope you have found this video helpful. For more information, please visit our blog or follow me on Twitter. This has been Carrie Knott with the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. Thank you for your attention and for all those that worked so hard to make this video possible.